This next story is one for the science fans. It combines microscopic critters and a very special membrane to clean up dirty water. Jason has the story. So are you wondering what anaerobic membrane bioreactor technology actually means? Yeah, well, so are we. Let's find out. Petrochemical giant Sasol and energy firm General Electric have partnered to create a new water technology plant in the Free State that will see the use of anaerobic membrane bioreactor technology. Question. What do you get when you cross one of the world's largest producers of synthetic fuels and chemicals with one of the world's largest suppliers of technology and infrastructure solutions? Answer. A locally developed tech solution that cleans wastewater whilst producing biogas as a byproduct for power generation. This project uh, started like uh, almost uh, five years ago with uh, Sasol wanting uh, to use a uh, AG technology in a very like, a harsh environment and then like, we understood that uh, it was not enough and we had like, to improve an existing technology and so we joined venture like with the customer uh, for defining like the scope of work where like, Sasol was uh, working on the bioreactor itself Energy was uh, working on improving like the membrane filtration system. With the pilot project, Sasol has designed a system that processes only 20,000 liters of water. Once commercially available, however, their tanks will be able to process millions of liters, which in turn will create enough gas to power thousands of houses indefinitely. The, the wastewater is generated in our Fisher Trops process. So that's the, the heart of uh, gas to liquids process, right? So that wastewater um, is then sent to a bioreactor and that's where the bugs live. And these are anaerobic uh, microbes that live in the absence of oxygen. So they take all the contaminants in this water, which are typically organic acids or alcohols that are dissolved in the water. And they convert those organics into biogas, which, which is typically methane. How we get the pure water out is we use GE's membranes to filter this water stream, so keeping the bugs behind in the bioreactor and um, allowing the clean water to then pass through and to be reused. So we can then recycle all our wastewater in a GTR. So the biogas that we also produce from this process, we use to make power. For a, about a 48,000 barrel GTR plant, which is kind of the standard size that we look at, you would make about 20 megawatts from this wastewater that uh, we generate. The benefit of this process are basically, one, there is a lower dispersion in the environment of the waste by products. Second, the biocomponents of the process generate methane, uh, biogas that can be reused like for heat or power. Third, there is a lesser emission of uh, CO2 and dispersion in the environment, so reduce like the carbon footprint of the user. And last, uh, has an overall lower cost uh, for like the end user. Eventually, Sasol will use this technology exclusively for internal processes, whilst General Electric will take it and make it available worldwide. This technology is uh, being piloted also into food and beverage industries, but it can be used also in similar environment as a Sasol GTL and process, so in a heavy uh, industry, such as refineries uh, or uh, cement factories, etc, etc. You know, it's always been a big concern for me about what the world's going to be like once my kids have grown up. But it's good to know that with trailblazers like Sasol and GE at the helm, you know, I think our kids are going to be alright. We're a cool name for a band, actually.